Welcome back to Natives React. We have a special guest with us today. What's up guys? I'm Jacob Crane. I'm from Sutsuna Nation and I'm here to spread awareness about the Running as Medicine Indigenous Youth Prayer Run May 18th through the 22nd. Which we will talk about more towards the end. Uh, I know that we don't have Jacob Billy today, but we do have Jacob Crane. I don't know if that counts, but <laughs> <laughs> our main topic of the show is going to be long hair among Native American men and its significance. Before that, we're just going to hop into some videos. Just missing bingo. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world. <laughs> oh Grandma was having a moment. <laughs> Grandma's definitely missing Bingo Hall. Oh my gosh. I'm coming home, tell the world. <laughs> so good. She's coming home, she's missing it. Second home right there. <laughs> Granddaughter records her and she's like, hey, don't. <laughs> okay, we got our next video, let's hop into it. Ice broke off. Sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Mom! <laughs> Mom! I don't even know what to say. He's stranded. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. We got indigenous Titanic going on here. It could be. Anybody out there? <laughs> That's all you really can do is yep. yell for mom. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old you are. And also, the weekend we're putting out this video is actually Mother's Day. That's so, right. happy Mother's Day this weekend. You know, shout out to all the indigenous moms. All the moms, okay? And then along with that, we had some good comments. All the moms are like, how many times do I have to tell you to stay off the ice? <laughs> <laughs> Every mom watching this video, I can just picture his mom running from a distance ready to swim across and save him. Oh <laughs> She's just booking it. <laughs> when I can't find my mom in the grocery store. <laughs> mom! Oh, <my> God. mom! <laughs> oh man, or like when your mom tells you to hold the line in the checkout while she goes to grab more milk or something. Yeah, when you're like, and then you're old. getting closer. What's <laughs> that? Your mom went to go get bread? She better be here before I finish scanning. Get it closer to the checkout. You just start sweating. And you're you like, start oh. sweating. And they're like, excuse me, where's your mom? <laughs> and keeping that theme in line, we got our next video. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is like my little nephew right now, every single time. This is every man, every guy, even people our age. Oh my you know, like if our mom gets mad at us, that's how we're gonna react. That's exactly how we're gonna react. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh Does it sound like anything? It sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, happy Mother's Day. Okay, let's hop into our next video. Natives be like, my ear is ringing. Hola, I wonder who's talking sh Holy, my hand is itchy. I wonder where I'm getting some money. Holy, my eye is twitching. I wonder who I'm gonna see. <laughs> this is like every native right now. <laughs> it's gonna rain. My bones are getting but sore. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe you're just out of shape. <laughs> maybe, maybe just something's wrong with you right now. <laughs> Holy, my hand is itchy. I wonder where I'm getting some money. <laughs> oh my god. That's what this means. Okay, we got our next video. Let's hop into it. You walk out that door, we're done. Oh. Babe, I'll be back later. <laughs> That's one way to get around it. A little loophole. Um. <laughs> the most native answer ever. <laughs> That's like the type of window too that you always leave it unlocked in case you lock yourself out. I did this at my dad's house a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. I had to climb through the side window. That, that, that's the way to go. So. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the main topic of the episode. Native American men with long hair. Long hair is significant among us Native American men. Growing up, I used to have long hair all the way till I was like 18 years old. Jacob Billy used to have long hair. If he'll send us a picture, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Jacob Crane, right? You have long hair currently. Oh man, I, I miss it. But let's just hop into it. How you can tell a native man is single. That's how you can tell a native man is single because his hair ain't braided. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true though. It's <laughs> or if his brain's messy. Why is this so true? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was a struggle growing up because my parents split when I was younger. My mom was always the one who braided my hair. I was with my dad and I had no one to braid my hair. Oh my gosh. I had to teach myself, but it's not the same. Shout out to moms and like older sisters oh, exactly. for getting up in the morning mm -hmm. every day and braiding your hair. The 
Hey, once again, happy Mother's Day. That's how you can tell a native man is single because his hair ain't braided. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into the next video. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Res girl. Hey, okay, okay. Finally, some representation, okay? <laughs> you know he's single. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool, though. One of these days, see a native man in a shampoo commercial. Yeah, that would be pretty That'd cool. Be dope. Herbal essences or... Uh... Essences. <laughs> okay, let's check out our next video. That girl at the gas station. That girl at the gas station was so fine. Which girl? The one that paid in front of me. That was wearing the yoga pants. I was a dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are guys wearing such tight pants these days? Come on now. <laughs> I was a dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I mean, I feel like every every indigenous boy or guy has gone through this. You get long hair, you get called a girl. Oh my gosh, I would I would go into the bathroom to use the uh, restroom and everybody would be like, this is the men's restroom. Oh. And I'm like, yes, I'm a guy. I too also had a lot of different instances, especially growing up in the city, not growing up on the reservation. And so I felt so out of place. And related to that, we have some picture memes. Uh, let's hop into these. When your hair flows with the sacred winds and it makes you feel all sacred. I feel you. <laughs> that is how it feels, especially yeah. when your hair is down all the way. And the wind just hits you. Mm -hmm. you know, my friend's like, you gotta free it, you know? That's like uh, on smoke signals. Smoke signals. Like, you gotta free your hair. And I'm like, what do you mean I gotta free? It's like yep. all stoic, and then all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> <laughs> go, go fix yourself. Oh, man. Got a next one. Excuse me, miss. What's up? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man. This would be a case of just embracing it. Like, okay, you call me a girl? What's up? You want to go? <laughs> we got our next one. LMFAO. Face app. <laughs> and then his buddy commented, keep that filter on, bro. I'm coming over. Oh, hey. my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. Easy. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> got our next one. Types of headaches. Migraine, hypertension, stress, when your braids are too tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. My mom would like, oh. I feel like that's everybody's that was, mom too. They're yeah. like, hold on. The kid's like screaming like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I always feel bad now if I'm at a powwow and then I see the girls getting their hair braided and I'm like, you can see it. I'm like, oh. Or like, I could feel it. Or like when their hair is getting brushed out and the mom's like, I'm not even doing it that hard. It's oh like, my gosh. And you're like, I can draw behind yeah. draw what's yeah. coming back. We got our next one. When you have long hair, shoveling the driveway and your neck gets cold. Hey, Okay. Oh my god. Little, uh, <laughs> just that is brave. Little, yeah. A little makeshift scarf. <laughs> it works. It works. I like it. Ingenuity. Ingenuity, yeah. <laughs> my braid is coming along great. Everyone have a good day. Hey, okay. <laughs> Everybody that's growing their hair out right now, mm -hmm. check it out. They got the hey. little rat tail. <laughs> it's good though. Keep it up, guys. Keep yeah, it up. Yeah, you guys start somewhere. Keep it up. I always feel extra indigenous anytime the wind blows my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like you're on top of a mountain or something. <laughs> and then we got our next one, which is a cool moment. 1948, a Navajo man getting his hair brushed by his wife. A hey. goals right here. If I'm ever at a powwow, I always smile at that. You see couples helping each other braid their hair or whatnot. Might even see some dads braiding their son's hair too. It's Warms my right heart. Here. Indigenous mm -hmm. family goals right here. Mm -hmm. And then we have a resilient moment here. 10 year old son. Dad, sometimes they tease me about my long hair. Me, you look them in the eyes and say, my hair is my culture and I grow up proudly. My brother, my dad, my cousins, my uncles, my grandpa, my great grandpa, we all have long hair. Tell me about your culture. I really I really liked seeing this post because I was like, I wish I would have been told this when I was younger. I wish I would have known more what my hair represented and that I could have responded to other people like this. And keeping that in mind, we have a video that relates to that. I was taught that as indigenous people, our hair is an extension of our spirit. And to always braid my hair with positive thoughts so I can carry that energy with me throughout the day. It wasn't long ago my people were forced to cut their hair in residential schools. So I braid my hair to honor my ancestors. Different for everybody too. There's different aspects of being indigenous. There's language, there's long hair, there's traditional practices, there's mm -hmm. ceremony, and then there's just what you're doing in the community. Mm -hmm. So you like do a lot of these. And so there's, it's not just a one, this is the only way. There are many answers mm -hmm. to that. Hopefully this can help one of our native youth out there who might run into a situation like this, whether it being called a girl or being teased for having long hair. This was a topic I've 
have been looking forward to covering and happy that we finally got around to it. But also I'm happy that there was actually some humorous takes on this whole situation of Native men with long hair and what might arise from it. Okay guys, now we can hop into the final section of our video. Natives doing cool or unique things. The SLC Air Protectors, we're our, a nonprofit organization. This year we're hosting an annual prayer run from Bears Ears National Monument all the way up to Warm Springs Park. Total distance of 360 miles mm -hmm. and we're bringing 10 runners in from across Indian country to make this journey and they're gonna be running. Starts on May 18th and it's gonna end on May 22nd. So come run with us. And so who can run in this event? Anybody can run in the event. Do they have to be indigenous? No, you do not have to be indigenous. It's a very inclusive event. Um, mm. Just run with us virtually. We want to connect everybody through our prayers and uplift uh, the indigenous community, but we're also building bridges with the non-indigenous community. So if you're interested in participating or supporting the SLC Air Protectors, I'll go ahead and drop that link in the description. Thank you so much, Patrick, for having me. It's been an mm. honor. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. We will be back next week. We'll see you guys later. Uh, 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 uh.